about being aggressive there. One of the things Dana was mentioned earlier was how successful you guys were getting pressure, especially up front, just kind of going after uh, TCU last week. What went into that, and, and how do you sustain that? Well, we, we started off, uh, you know, trying to trying to defend and, and and just play zone, and you know, not really knowing what to expect from them from a game plan perspective uh, with the uh, and the guys just made some incredible throws. So. They're, I don't know, midway through the second quarter, maybe early second quarter, we just finally said, hey, let's start bringing the pressure, and, and uh, we carried it right on through the third quarter, and was aggressive all the way through, uh, through the end of the game, so, uh, you know, it, it just, we were able, I think we, I think we got to him at least like 21 times, we got people, you know, putting their body on him, and uh, sacking three, and had, you know, uh, some time people knocked him down, uh, but didn't quite, just, just didn't quite get there. It seemed like it started taking its toll on him, too, I mean, he, he was pretty banged up by the end of that game. Yeah, I mean, it, after watching the video, I mean, I was like, well, <laughs> Well, he's he's going to be sore tomorrow. I mean, he, uh, we we were pretty physical with him, and and uh, that I think that's you know. I think there's a lot. Once we got to him, I guess that third turnover when we went three in a row. You know, we we, we had probably six or seven people on him and, and ripped the ball out. So yeah, it was big, big part of the game. Has it been any easier in a sense having to prepare for just one quarterback this week? Well, I think I think from the. Uh, Perspective that we you know what to expect. I mean, it's not like they're going to come out and do something, you know, like different than what we've seen on, you know, film in the last three or four weeks. I think they're going to just continue to try to run the ball and play out. Uh, they got weapons all over the field. And, you know, you just got to contain it. And you got to, you know, create long yard situations, which they don't get in very often. You know, very seldom see them in second long. Uh, that, that video, that cut up, didn't take as long to watch. <laughs> so we got to try, try to create second long, keep them there, get them in the third down uh, to where we can, you know, uh, get, get off the field. What are the challenges about running with Jonathan Ray and a couple other guys? Yeah, Malcolm Brown, I mean, Bergeron, I mean, they got weapons there. Uh, you know, so it's just, it's a power running football game. You a big offensive lineman, athletic. They've, they've been very physical. Probably, uh, I've heard more than one uh, or two other people say that it's, it's one of the most physical offensive line that they've seen in Texas in a while. And uh, I, I have to agree with that. I mean, uh, it's like, it's just like they made a decision three weeks ago and said, this is what we're going to do, what we're going to become. And they've done a nice job with it.